Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Don't you just love this uh, Christian Dior packaging for some makeup purchases? I don't know whether it's fairly long term or I wondered if it might be for Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, um, because of the bright red. Uh, I just think it's gorgeous. I like it actually much more than their white packaging. I will say this for Christian Dior, um, no matter how much or how little really you spend, the um, packaging is really nice. Um, I mean, this was actually a, a reasonable spend, but I also um, separately bought just one palette. And although it didn't come in a red box, it came in um, a really nice little carrier um, with little free gifts. Way better than Chanel these days. Um, so, what have I been buying? Nothing to do with Lunar New Year. I don't buy as much Christian Dior. And I don't, truth to tell, tend to wear my Dior eye palettes as much as my Tom Ford and my Chanel. I do still really like their highlighters. I don't know why Dior doesn't quite hit the mark with me because when I do actually buy something, I usually love it. And I was kind of attracted to several things on their website recently. First of all, let's appreciate the dear dinky little um, free gift which came with this. There were various sachets of stuff as well, which I've hived off already. But this... I love these little miniatures. I don't actually like the fragrance, Miss Dior, but um, I love the little bottle there and uh, it just looks so cute. I did like another fragrance that they sent me to try, which I assume is new, new look. Um, I'll maybe talk about that separately because I'm loving it so far. Right, what did I get? Um, First of all, I got a blush. Uh, I don't know, this just spoke to me. I haven't tried it on yet. And I don't know how successful it will be as a blush. Because, as you see, it is so, so, so pale. Uh, what's it called? It's new. It's called Rose Popoline. Popoline. And it's matte. I don't usually go for matte, but I just love this really pale, girly pink. <laughs> Will it show up? I don't know. I'll have to come back to you on that. It's quite, you know, it sounds a bit counterintuitive to say something is pigment. Well, <laughs> it's not showing up much on the hand, it has to be said. Um, my skin is paler on the face. We'll have to see about that. It reminded me of an old Chanel um, blush that I've got called Stardust, which isn't matte. It's definitely sparkly. And uh, it was a favourite party blush for a long time. You can see how sparkly it is. Still, still reasonably wearable, actually. I haven't worn it for a while. And that definitely showed up. You can see that's kind of almost more goldeny. Um, definitely shows up a bit more, actually. Interesting, isn't it? That's the um, Stardust Chanel one. That's the Popolane. Uh, so I saw that on the website, and as I say, my heart. And my eyes were just drawn to it. So I'll get back to you on how that works out on the cheeks. And then I have been looking at these Dior Addict new shades as um, various influencers, not in this country, it has to be said, um, have have been displaying them. And they were the holographic ones. But we just didn't seem to get most of the colours on our website. 
we did get this one called Hollow Yuzu, which wouldn't have been my first choice. Yellow, yeah. And then in the promo pictures, I mean, I do love the packaging again, not just kind of um, the see-through plasticky bit, but the, the Dior lettering on it is really classy, isn't it? Um, show it going on kind of gold and holographic on the, the lips. I have to tell you, it is a real disappointment. Um, there it is on the back of the hand, barely visible and not particularly yellow or golden and it's even less visible on the lips um so yellow waste of time um doesn't do anything at all uh these maximizers of course make your lips kind of tingle a bit supposedly um making your pouch stand out this one is slightly more successful this is hollow lavender but i have to say again pretty 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 though it is in the tube um, lovely, lovely tube. I have been using this. It's been in my handbag this week. I mean, it's not... Yeah, there you can see the kind of gold shimmer holographic in the tube. But again, it's so faint. And I get that you're not going to get a load of colour pigment with these. But I did kind of expect more holographic, I suppose. Um, so it's nice. It feels okay on the lips. Um, gives you that little bit of tingle. Um, would I recommend them? No, not really. <laughs> I think they're about £34 each, which is a bit much. I will say at the moment, there, there are absolutely no or very few Glossomers to be had on the Chanel website. And that's been the case for ages. They seem to get a glut of them. They sell out. And then for months and months, there's nothing there at all. So if you're into the kind of um, lip glosses, you're not going to get much out of um, Chanel at the moment. Um, I was also drawn actually to two of the nail polishes. There's a really pretty sparkly pink. But I resisted that, going for this one instead, which is called Lilac Organza. So the clue is in the name, which I have to say, I don't think I read very carefully. Because this looked more kind of grey to me, light creamy grey on the website. I'm actually wearing it. Two coats, two days, no top coat, which is probably a mistake. That one's chipped already. Um... It's definitely a very pale lilac. I like it. Um, some people are, are big fans of the brush with um, Christian Dior, uh, Dior nail varnishes. I am I like the smaller Chanel brush, I have to say. I find it easier to apply. So, like I've not got enough nail varnishes, but that shade just did it for me. And I do like it. And then um, this is a limited edition quint called... Mimi Rose, Mimi Rose. I just bought this literally for one colour. Whose video did I see? Um, I can't remember. Somebody was showing it. Um, by the way, the little CD notch to open seems to be new um, on the quince. Maybe it's just limited editions, I don't know. Um, so I saw this being illustrated and, of course, the one that I loved was this holographic. I just love these holographics, don't I? Um, although I'm often destined to be quite disappointed by them. When I put them on, literally can't see that at all. It'll be interesting how it works on the eye. And then I know um, there was some concern about this kind of topper shade, although it's quite pretty. And then this one, kind of similar. This is a bit more golden-y. A satin here, which is quite nice. And... Uh, Oh, that's very soft. Um, so they're very soft shades. Um, 
But I don't mind that. I just thought it was pretty and spring-like. Um, again, I need to try it out. This only arrived yesterday, to be fair, having gone astray at the weekend when it was supposed to come. So, um, yeah. I just thought the Dior collection was more spring-like than any of the other um, collections I've seen. And that was what I was craving at the current time. So there we go. There's my um, Dior purchases, which I have yet to use apart from that Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. So has anyone else bought from Dior? Tempted? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you all have a wonderful week and I shall see you all again soon. Bye for now.